Yo, what's going on everybody? We're gonna be covering Mad Dog Car Club. They've been having a lot of updates lately. They also had a playable demo during CNFT Con, so I'm gonna go over some of that. And I'm gonna go over some of the things that we have to look forward to coming up this month. So first up, if you didn't know, Mad Dog Car Club has their own YouTube channel and they did create a 20 minute video going over a lot of their demo and what they're going to be creating. And I will have that linked in the description below, but I'm going to be going over what I think are some of the most important parts. The first thing that you guys need to know is that every car has their own stats, and those stats are speed, acceleration, handling, and braking. Now depending on which Mad Dog that you choose to race in that car, and depending on that Mad Dog's rarity, you will have some of those stats increased for that race. Also, if your Mad Dog skin is Chrome, Chameleon, Galaxy, or Gold, you can use these skins to be applied to the car as well, which will also boost some of your stats. Also in the top right you can see the achievements, and certain Mad Dogs will have their own achievements. So you can see Jess goes right here with the flaming eyes. If you win 10 races, then you will get a flaming decal that's specific to that dog. When the game fully launches, they're going to have three game modes, Ranked, Unranked, and Practice. Now on November 28th is when they're going to launch their version 1.01, .01, which is going to allow you to connect your wallet and play on three tracks inside of the Practice mode. Inside of the ranked version, you're going to be allowed to bet ADA or Mad Dog token and race against others to take all. The unranked version, you're going to be able to play for fun and kind of practice and get used to things. And then practice, you're going to be able to just drive around. You'll also be able to test out new cars and new tracks. Also, when racing inside of unranked or ranked, you will be able to play against four, six, or eight players at once. Okay, so as we watch Jesco kind of do a little demo of how the car is gonna run around this track, I'm gonna talk about a few things that you see on screen. So first up, the track that you see right here, I'm calling the forest or the wooded track. They are also working on two others, the desert and the snow. And uh, this car is with the galaxy skin, so you can see when he starts off, he starts off real quick. Also, the first version of this game is only going to be on Windows and is only going to use keyboard. However, they do plan on adding controller and even wheel integration in the future. In order to control your car using the keyboard, you're going to have to use WASD or the arrow keys. Also, shift will be your boost, and space will be your brakes. It's also cool to note that Jesco mentions he wants to go live either once a week or once every two weeks to show some of the demos and developments that the team is working on. Also, sometime after November 28th, they will be releasing version 1.02, where they do plan to introduce multiplayer where users can upgrade their NFTs as well as race against others. A cool note as well is that their team does want to attend more conventions to showcase what Mad Dog Car Club is building. So they will be attending Cardano Summit in Switzerland on November 19th to the 21st, as well as Decentral Miami on November 28th through the 29th. They have also just launched their version 2 of their token slash non-custodial staking website, where holders can stake any of their Mad Dogs, their cars, MD licenses, and racers to earn the Mad Dog tokens. If you are interested in staking, just connect your wallet, and then you can click on your wallet, and you can see all of the assets that you can start staking, and you can also go over to staking, accumulate, and then click accumulate rewards. It'll take a second or two, and then you'll get this prompt, and all you'll have to do is sign your password, and then you'll start staking. And it doesn't have to be Mad Dog Car Club that you stake. You can also stake Baby Alien Club, Bad Fox, Those AMAs, Keyboard Warriors, Claypez, Ape Nation, Space Ape, Virtua, Disco Solaris, and Salty Seagulls. What's also really cool is that you can click on Learn More on any of the collections and you'll see how much you earn per hour, per day, and per week. And a few reasons why you might want some of these coins is that the Mad Dog token will facilitate the governance of the Mad Dog DAO. And a few of the benefits of being inside of the DAO is that you will be able to have proposals as well as vote on those proposals. But maybe DAO isn't really your thing. Well, you can also redeem your tokens for car parts, a mystery box, or a Mad Dog license. I also wanted to make it clear that if you sell your asset that has started to accumulate already, the accumulation will be tied to the token, so all the rewards will be transferred to the new owner. And as I was going through here, I'm sure a few of you saw these Mad Dog racers and thought to yourself, what are those? Well, this is going to be their new mint that's coming up on December 17th. So these racers are going to be your identity inside of the game. The racers are not going to take away from the Mad Dogs, and the Mad Dogs will be the ones that upgrade your car statistics, not the racers. And to play the final version, you will need a racer as well as a Mad Dog and one car. Some of the future utility that will be coming with these is that 10% of the funds raised from this mint will be allocated towards the Mad Dog token liquidity pool. Also, there will be non-custodial staking for the Mad Dog racers for Mad Dog tokens. The rest of the funds raised from the mint will be as follows. 60% will be going into game development, 20% will be going into development services, 10% like we spoke about into the token liquidity pool, and 10% will be going into events to network and bring more exposure to the project. 
Every five racers that you hold, you will be airdropped a fully assembled car from every future car collection. Also, every three months after the release of these racers, each asset will be airdropped a Mad Dog modification pack, which could include a skin or other car accessories. How the mods will be dropped will be based off of ranking, and there are 10k of these, so this is how it's going to work. Between ranks 1 and 2,500, you will get the Diamond Modification Package. Between 2,500 and 1 to 5,000, you will get a Gold Modification Package. Between 5,001 to 7,500, you will get the Silver. And between the last 2,500, you will get a Bronze. These racers will also give you access to other metaverses. Some people have been wondering why human racers and not dogs, and there's kind of two reasons. First, they did try to create some 3D dogs, but in their opinion, they didn't look too good. Also, instead of making another dog collection, they decided to make a human collection so it wouldn't devalue the 2D dogs. Also, you might be happy to know that you don't need a Mad Dog Racer in order to alpha test. You only need one Mad Dog and one car. However, do remember that you do need one of these Mad Dog Racers for the final version. Also, we spoke on earlier that if you hold five of the Mad Dog Racers, you will be airdropped one free, fully assembled car from every car collection that comes out, and the next one coming out is in quarter one of 2023. And I know a lot of people, including myself, want to know how many Mad Dog tokens will you be earning per day with these Mad Dog Racers. However, they're still finalizing all of this, so we're going to have to wait for more information. If you guys are interested, the mint price will be 90 ADA. If you are on the whitelist, it will be for 75. And these are the various whitelists that are available. However, if you don't have any of these whitelists via owning a certain amount of dogs, you can still get a whitelist over here on this Twitter giveaway. If you guys are interested, I will have this tweet in the description below. And after this tweet finishes, I will be giving another 10 whitelist spots away inside of my Discord. If you would like to join my Discord, it's always in all of my descriptions below. And also, you will need to own an Atlantic Ocean for these whitelist giveaways. So the first thing you'll need to do if you do get an NFT for the first time is to verify it. Once you are given a role, you'll be able to have access to drop your address. All you need to do is post your address in there, and then every time after that, just go into whitelist raffle and then react to the whitelist that you would like to apply to. But that's everything that I wanted to cover today, guys. If any of this content helped you, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And remember to get outside, see your family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so that we can spend more time with them. Until next time, guys. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy. I